Okay, no matter how cautious you are with your outboard motor and boat, there's always the chance of hitting something, especially if you're doing a lot of fishing in snaggy and rocky areas. We've been through some of the, uh, the more basic checks that you can do after you do hit something. Uh, in the event that you've lost drive and, and you can't go anywhere with, with your, your Apple motor or your electric motor, there's a couple of little tips that I'd like to show you with the propeller and hopefully uh, you'll be able to get yourself going with some basic tools and um, perhaps some, some spare parts and continue your day's fishing. But there's a couple of different drive types and um, they're a little bit different in their characteristics. So what I'd like to do is take you through our little F2.5 with the torsional bush and our Minn Kota with the shear pin type propeller. It's very simple um, to remove the propeller and with basic tools you should be able to do it yourself. Um, I've, um, I've got some pliers on hand here, we just remove the split pin, straighten it out, push it through. Okay, an appropriate sized uh, spanner, in this case it's a, it's a multi-fit design. Uh, we can undo the propeller nut. Okay, keep notice of the, the components that you're removing uh, and the order and the orientation of those components. It's going to make it much easier for you when you reassemble them. You'll note that uh, there's actually a, a thrust washer in behind the propeller. We need to sometimes pry that out. Uh, it can be very easily misplaced and um, it's very important. This propeller is the torsional bush type and um, it's probably a little bit more sophisticated than the shear pin type in that uh, if it was to spin, uh, you usually are able to still limp home. You find this on a lot of bigger outboard motors, uh, some smaller outboard motors, and um, it generally means uh, an placement internal bush, which um, uh, you really can't fix that without um, specialised equipment. If you were to carry a spare propeller, um, you could quite easily uh, replace the damaged propeller uh, with the new propeller out on the water and it could get you, get you back on the water fishing uh, straight away. I want to take you through the other type which is the shear pin type, typically found on very small outboard motors and electric motors as well. Once again with basic tooling we can remove the propeller with the, uh, the propeller nut, undo the propeller nut. Okay, keep in mind uh, the orientation of everything that you're disassembling again as well. Uh, it's most important so that you can remember when you put it back together. Check for any fishing line um, and that, um, that we can identify the shear pin. As you can see here, quite a different arrangement with the propeller as compared to that of the, the rubber bush type propeller. It's simply got a, a little piece of metal in there which is what we call the shear pin. And the idea of that shear pin is that when you do hit something, the shear pin actually breaks. It's, it compromises other than uh, vital internal uh, components of the, of the motor. So simply uh, by carrying a spare shear pin, we can remove that shear pin uh, and replace it with a new one and we'll be back on the water fishing. Simply remove the, the shear pin. Uh, it should be, should be nice and free. Shouldn't need to uh, hit it with a hammer. That's our shear pin. Okay, simply goes in into our propeller there and, uh, and provides a means of drive. A little bit of grease. Okay. Good water resistant grease uh, is the best. Grease our shear pin up, make sure the shear pin's nice and greased and then it goes together. We line up the, uh, the recess for the shear pin in the propeller and install that nice and snug. Remembering the order of uh, our assembly items, our, our nut and our washer. Okay, tighten this up firmly. Don't have to over tighten it. Nice and snug. Most of the times they have uh, some sort of nylon locking, um, locking arrangement or uh, uh, cotter pin. And um, check that the, the propeller turns freely and uh, there's no movement. And job's done.